Can you hear me now? No. No, can't hear me, no? Hello? Jim, we can't hear, I'm sorry. We can't hear you. Maybe somebody else can try. Let and me then... try, Dan. Hi, Albert, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Um, I doubt whether um, City have had a harder first half than you gave them today. So what are you more upset about? The penalty decisions or the needless sending off? Well, I'm upset about that we don't end up with three points in this game. You know, that, that's the most frustrating part. At the same time, we are very proud about the performance of the players. But of course, there are some moments in the game where who decided, I think, the game. And so we have the first moment with Odegaard in the, in the first half, which I think is a clear penalty, but at least a moment for the referee to check. And that happened in the second half with their penalty, which is not really consistent. And of course, the sending off was an important moment after that. But to be fair, we still had a very good performance against a very strong team in how we defended with 10 players. That you end up with at the last moment with zero points is, of course, very frustrating. Thank you. Jamie? Hi, Albert. Uh, just again on the on the Gabriel sending off. How frustrating is that? How is he feeling at the moment in the changing room? Because the first yellow card in particular is so avoidable. It's it's needless and silly, isn't it? Why do you know why the first yellow card is given then? For scuffing the penalty spot. Yeah, it's not what the players are telling me. He made a remark to the referee, he mentioned, and also other players uh, confirmed that. And uh, just a, a normal comment, and he gave the yellow card. But it doesn't matter at the end. If you have a yellow card, uh, you must control your emotions a little bit better and defend there in that situation, which, which is not a very dangerous situation and cannot take the risk. Yeah? So that is a, a moment where young players still have to learn. Uh, and we have a lot of young players. That is part of the process. But instead of playing, talking a lot about that moment, I would say at the end, we are very proud of what we have seen of this Arsenal team. And if you compare this to the start of the season, where we come from and where we are now, playing against one of the best teams in the world, and competing like this and also on the ball, we dare to play today and create a lot of chances and prevent also them from chances. Yeah, that is something we can build on. And secondly, can I just ask, how did it work with Mikel today? How much was he communicating with you? How many of the decisions did he make? How many were you making? No. It, uh, during the game, there was no direct line with Mikel. We, we are always uh, in, in contact with each other and normally I, I do believe I'm famous for the earpods. So normally I'm in that situation that we always are in contact with somebody from upstairs, or in this case, from further away, like again, for the Norwich game also, for people who are not involved in the stadium. And we had contact there and not a direct line, but an indirect line with Mikel. And in between, of course, at half time, also before the game and after the game, Mikel has been in touch because uh, he, he needs to be involved in, in that case. And, and yeah, we, don't, we, we don't do anything different, only Mikel physically is, is not here. That's the big difference. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. James? Hello, Albert. Um, you said it was a normal comment from Gabriel to the referee. Could, could you tell us what he said? Well, he mentioned to me that, that uh, uh, about the first penalty moment of Odegaard that he said, so what, what happened there then? Uh, in, in, so no uh, dirty language was used, let's say. So just a comment. That is what Gabriel tells me. And, and just secondly, as things stand, do you expect Mikel to be back in the dugout on Thursday? I have no clue. Uh, we, we don't know how this virus always uh, develops. And uh, so we first have to be 
test it ne negative, of course, to be able to come back in. Thank you. Just one more, Sam. Explain to us in, in briefly what, what the tactical approach was. It certainly looked like you were prepared to let City have the ball as they tend to do, and then very quick, compact, rapid attacks. Would, would that be fair? Well, I think we have many, especially in the first half, we have many moments also where we press them high. And sometimes they broke our press. They're a great team, so they have many solutions. But even on the goal kick, we try to press them high many times. And we also ended up winning the ball on their half also many times. So uh, we were ready to go also on, on, the, on the high press. And But, you know, against this Man City team that sometimes you are forced back. But then when you are on your own half, how do you defend compact and, and break from that? And that we did a few times really good also today. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.